start off by explaining what exactly jQuery is. We'll talk about why one might want to use jQuery tabs. And as Dave said, the majority of today's presentation will be a live demo where we will go ahead then and implement jQuery tabs in an Apex application. So what is jQuery? Well, jQuery is really just a JavaScript library. In fact, it's one of many JavaScript libraries available for use today. JavaScript libraries are intended to make JavaScript easy to use. Complex tasks such as document traversal, event handling, animations, and AJAX are made much easier when using a JavaScript library. JavaScript libraries are also aiming to make JavaScript cross-browser compliant. For anyone that's ever written JavaScript before, one of the first things you probably did was try to detect what type of browser the end user was using and then use conditional logic to execute the right code for that browser. It's a tedious task and it's hard to maintain. Well, with a, lot, a JavaScript library like jQuery, you just write jQuery code and let it worry about how to execute it on what browser. jQuery is also very lightweight, coming in at under 56K. It's at least lightweight considering what you get for the product. Also, that 56K download should only be incurred the very first time a user goes to a web page that uses it. Subsequent requests uh, should go to a cache version in the browser. jQuery is also the base for what we'll be looking at today, jQuery UI, which introduces a whole set of user interface enhancements that you can use in your web-based applications. The jQuery team has done an excellent job of separating these two out so that if you don't want to use the UI components, you're not forced to, and you don't take the uh, 300 KB size of the UI interface. So why would we want to use jQuery tabs? Well, the main reason, the most important, is to improve the look and feel of our applications. As developers, we're constantly trying to strike a balance. We want to show as much information as we can to our end users, but we don't want to overload them. And jQuery tabs can help you achieve that goal, that balance. It helps to reduce clutter and can also aid in gaining back some valuable page real estate in your applications. jQuery UI also implements a theme engine. For those of you familiar with Apex, we have 20 themes available in the theme repository. And this is a very convenient means of switching themes and making things really easy. Well, jQuery UI took a very similar approach. They have several canned themes. We'll take a look at those. And it's ex extremely easy to switch from one to the other. Another important reason is cost. As I mentioned before, there are a lot of JavaScript libraries out there, but not all of them are free. jQuery and its UI counterpart are published under both the MIT and GPL licenses. So you just pick the one that's right for your project. OK, well, let's go ahead and uh, do a live demo. We're going to start. We're going to break this down into three parts. First, we'll install jQuery and jQuery UI into Apex. Then we'll go ahead and implement tabs. And finally, I'm going to come back around. I'm going to address some common questions. And I'll modify the code to answer those questions. Let's go ahead and get started. So here's my application. And the application is really simple. It's two pages, in fact. Uh, for those of you who might be a little concerned about code, don't worry about writing down any code. We'll make this application available uh, for download within the next 24 hours. Um, and this is an example of a page that's just a little, perhaps, uh, over cluttered. We're trying to present a lot of information. And what I want to do is use jQuery tabs to clean it up some. So the two pages here are before jQuery tabs and then after. And notice that currently they're exactly the same. This is where we're going to do all of our work today. This is page two. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, the first step, we just want to install jQuery into our application. Now, that's 
not a uh, very difficult task, but there's two different ways to do it in Apex. One, you could use internally hosted files. That means you go to the websites for jQuery and jQuery UI, you download the necessary files, and then upload those files to your local application server and include them then in your application. And that's a great choice if you have internal applications. But for applications facing the public internet, there's a better choice. And that's to use the Google hosted files. And it's better for two reasons. One, the odds are increasing that a user could come from one application to yours or one web page to yours and already have these files cached in their browser so they don't have to download it again. But two, it's just a lot easier to do so. And you'll see that in just a second. What I'm going to go to do is edit this page and use those Google files as I was describing. To do that, I'll edit the page here. And you see here in the header the code necessary. This is all you need to include jQuery and jQuery UI in your Apex application. Now I've put this in at the page level. If you'd like to make it available to the entire application, you can do so just by going to the page template rather than the HTML header for an individual page. The first line of code here brings in a style sheet, and this relates to the themes of jQuery UI. We're using the base theme here. It's very easy to switch the theme we're using just by changing that one word. The second line here just brings in the Google JavaScript API. And we subsequently use that here by loading jQuery and jQuery UI, making them available in our application. We can even be version specific with Google. Once we've added that code to our page, we've finished installing jQuery and jQuery UI into our application. And we can move forward from there. At this point, I want to take just a couple minutes and turn the presenter ball back over to Dave. Thanks, Dan. Uh, folks, as you know, uh, we've got a long way to go in uh, today's demonstration. Uh, and uh, Dan will be uh, explaining just exactly how to uh, use jQuery and show you the working application and then do some uh, uh, as he said, adds for some common questions by modifying the code. Uh, so uh, just just a, uh, a quick word about uh, uh, our services here at Skilders. Uh, we do provide a lot of uh, Apex consulting, uh, training, mentoring. And our consulting services, um, we do welcome short-term assignments. So if you have uh, any uh, uh, specific tasks uh, even installing Apex and getting started with your first applications. We're glad to uh, guide you along the way, either on-site or uh, done remotely. Uh, of course, training classes, either online or on your customer site, and we'll be happy to customize those classes for you to your needs. Uh, we do do also full-site lifecycle application development, and uh, uh, as we've done for Brown University and several other customers where we've uh, designed the application uh, from the ground up and built the application, obviously provide ongoing support for that. So uh, there, there's a lot of things we can help you with on your Apex and Oracle needs, and we hope that you will uh, keep us in mind. And with that, I'll just pass it right back over to uh, Dan for uh, the remainder of the presentation. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, Dave. OK, so brief recap. We've gone ahead and installed jQuery now. It's available in our application. And it's time to go ahead then and implement the tab solution. Let's take one look again at the page as it currently is. Anytime you know you have to scroll to the right, you probably have an issue in your design. Scrolling down, not so much a big deal, but scrolling right and left is not very convenient for your end users. 